I'm sure that many of you guys have seen the recent influx in Hive content that's about 1-2 to two minutes long and speculating on future updates, and I feel like it's pretty clear that it's extremely generic and low effort. Well today, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to make one of those videos. This is, how to make Hive update speculation content. So the first thing, and it's non-negotiable, you gotta have Hive Skywars gameplay in the background. These videos don't work without it. Next, pick some sort of tweet or Hive staff discord message and put it on screen and blur the background. Keep in mind that this is going to be the only sort of substantial content that you show in your video. Once you've left it on screen for about 5 seconds and described everything that's going on in the image, you can fade it out. Next up, make some sort of vague assumption about what this is or what it might be, and congratulations, you've kept the viewer hooked for about half the video. Now, the second half of this video is literally the most important for this style of content. You have to stall for as long as possible. Talk about anything, and I mean anything, to make the video go on for longer. Talk about how your dog died, talk about how you have a math test this Friday, ask the viewer to comment something random, anything to stall for time and make the video longer, getting yourself more watch time. Since I need to stall a little bit for this video, let's talk about how to make thumbnails for videos like these. Literally, all you do is use question marks. Just put a question mark in the thumbnail. Maybe black out an NPC and put a question mark over that. Maybe use the NPC with question marks on it. Assuming you have a question mark and the Hive logo on your thumbnail, it's a guaranteed 10,000 views. Now, one more thing that literally everyone does in these videos is that they end them abruptly so they can increase their viewer retention. 